Hi, Jemima. Hi, Trini. Welcome to an edition of Closet Confessions with gorgeous Jemima, who edits every week Closet Confessions. And whilst Lucy's having the baby, Jemima's taken over. And this week we are doing pastel. Let's talk about pastels because pastels are the epitome of summer evenings and even the winter in the southern hemisphere you still have sun but they're soft colors they're never hard colors and sometimes the reason I don't wear pastel or I used to not wear pastels I felt it washed me out and that I never knew what to wear with pastels you know so I've got here pastels we're going to go through mint green to me as a pastel pale cooler pink is a pastel, a baby blue to me is a pastel, a very faint yellow is a pastel, and a lilac is a pastel. And I'm going to include in this a really soft dove grey because it goes quite well with other things. But there are some skin tones that look beautiful in pastels all year round, like a peaches and cream skin tone looks exquisite, and a cool, deeper skin tone looks beautiful. It's the warmer skin tones that have to be careful about wearing pastels, because they can just be too cold as colours. So, because I sit in neutral, I can wear both. If you're warm, I would say the sort of blushy pinks might be beautiful, but they're sort of between pastel pink and blush pink. So I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite pastels and it's something I didn't wear for ages and it's Roller Marais. I got it last year. The trousers are a dream because they're made of a thick wool crepe. So they, you know, they hang beautifully. They don't give you cellulite bottom and they are cost per wear expensive, but investment trousers that will last years and years, as long as you don't get, you know, Nutella on them are a worthwhile investment. Things, certain pastel colors will all go well together, like these are all pastel greens, and this Zara shirt I got this season is, tonally works incredibly well. Pastel sequins, can we imagine? Just love it. And then my makeup is really, I've just got on a little bit of Moon and a tiny bit of Dido, so I've been really soft. So if I wear mint green, I think I wear all one color, or I wear it with one other pastel shade. I've now put on the green, I'll show you in a second, with the um, baby pink, because I think that these pastels are beautiful together. So I'm amping up Dido Sheer Shimmer, which is the same color nearly as the top. I'm doing quite matchy matchy here, and then buffing up a bit more on my cheeks. So this is the final look, and I feel that the tones work really well together. And if you look in the light, there's a really prettiness between that sort of very soft pastel pink with the mint green. And do you prefer wearing pastels all in one or mixing it up and wearing two colours? I don't know, ladies, which one did you prefer? All right, now we're going on to a little bit of pastel -y pink. It's sort of cool pastel pink. And this is an old Zara suit I got and I'm wearing it for sort of a nighttime look. I'm wearing a Zara sleeveless shirt I got this season. I'm wearing a really old Prada heel. But the makeup just feels quite washed out because the tone of the pink has got a bit cooler. So I need something to go wow. I mean, I look at this and I think actually that's quite nice, all that tonality, but it's like sometimes you want that pump of color. So Ellie, if pastels tend to wash you out on your skin tone, having a good blusher really works to then make the color not wear you or wash you out. So there, I've come back into focus and I've got a pump on my cheeks and lips and full length. Wow, and you just feel more alive and awake. So if you feel you love this color, but you're a little bit too, it's washing you out, think of a nice lip to bring it all together. This is just my favorite outfit. <laughs> Thank you, the sheer shimmer. You would wear this color. I mean, Jemima is peaches and cream and um, the most beautiful skin. You'll have seen her in some of our films. Jemima's a clothes freak, aren't you, Jemima? Because what did you tell me about the top I just had on? I've just bought it you from just, eBay. <laughs> from eBay for £17. It's honest when you have to really make a journey to go and find something, you hold on to it much more dearly. You tracked it down on eBay, it took you a while, and you're going to love that even more. I was in a bidding war. Oh my <laughs> God, she was in a bidding war. Now, I want to just make this more daytime cool. This was nighttime, so we're going from night to day. Okay, this is how I'd like to also consider wearing pastels. So if you love a sort of bright color, I think the best color to wear with pastel pink is like a neon yellow. I think what it does and what it's done for this suit for me is it's made me feel it's super cool. I've got white trainers from Russell and Bromley, 
but just the whole layering, the little half tuck, excuse me, like that, so that you have a little bit of the yellow popping out where the trousers coming in, so the whole thing comes together. There's yellow popping out the sleeve, which we know really well from previous Cloth Confessions. It just gives a new take to an old friend of a suit. So I would say the biggest investment one could make is a neon shirt, and Serena View just has re-release them again because I had this one my old friend and now I've got my fresh one because I wear this every few days and it just switches out outfits and I saw they did orange now and I know they have pink because I've got it oh, compulsive but it gives added zest and now this suit which I didn't wear for two years I found a new lease of life on because I brought this neon yellow into a cool pastel that was a little bit too cool for me on its own it's so cool and the makeup still works Makeup still works. I mean, I could go darker because with this, sometimes I quite like, and I just put this over a wash of Dahlia, like that, just to bring the coolness to it. Yeah, it's just a bit, you know, with the, with the neon and that, I think that's yeah. quite nice going to that depth of tone. Great transitional dressing. <sighs> It's what we like. So now we have on the, what I call now forever and day, Georgia Tuffalo top, because um, I sent her one when I got it myself and it was a bit too small for me. It's like a pastel yellow, but it's a washed out, lovely yellow. It has that little silver here. So I'm very tempted that I'm just going to do a little bit of shimmer with some Hikati, just popping it on the eye there. So it gives a little bit more to my makeup, but not going crazy just so when I open and close my eyes, you get a little bit of on like that. And I was thinking, I love Pia with this color, so I'm just gonna go for Pia. Oh yeah, it's great. And with the color I've got underneath, I'm not sure how the Pia's gonna go because it's lilac. And lilac with pink can be a little bit Barbara Cartland. So I'm gonna put a little bit of bunny on top and let's see the full picture. So this is a combination I love wearing, which is lilac and pastel yellow. It's really soft and pretty together. These are high-waisted Zara jeans, which I adore, um, as long as I keep my tummy in, because days when I bloat, it shows. And then, um, Russell Moy trainers, Zara top. I wanna have a little conversation about pastel shades and what goes well together. This is my lilac pastels, and these are Zara trousers. I mean, Zara has to be the queen of the comfortable stretch pant. This is Serena Butte, so I might do the half tuck just to give some length there. And I wear a really wide, the wide um, leg means I wear a really stacked trainer. They're quite long, the Zara's. So it just has that lovely flow. I could also wear a heel with it, but I just, life today is about trainer. You know, I'm wearing the pink lip and I'm thinking with that pink lip, is that too classic? You know, I kind of love it, but could it be cooler? Not sure. Love it. Mm. I do think you could do a Dahlia. Oh my God, let's try Dahlia then. It's a very good idea. Because the thing about Dahlia is it has the coolness. It's a lip love. It gives a bit more color like that. And then I could put over it some Dido, just in the middle. So cool and fresh. You know, sometimes that tweak in makeup takes it from being classic old fashioned number seven lipstick moment um, to fresh and um, ageless and timeless. So I'd do this, but I remember then, and I rushed to go and ask Molly to bring it upstairs, three flights of stairs, that I got last summer this Zara jacket, and there's a few shades in pastels where you can wear tonally the deeper shade. I think I love the vibrancy of the deeper color, and it offsets that softer pastel and allows me to really make the color pop, make my blue eyes look bluer, my skin tone look its best, my hair looks luscious. You know, when you wear colors, you've got to think, what's it doing to your skin, hair and eyes? Like when we do Match Me on Trinity London, it's about how do we find you the right palette for your skin, hair and eyes? So always think of those three in conjunction when you're thinking of wearing colors on your body or on your face. But that for me, this is like, I'd wear this, in fact, after this, I'm just gonna go to my meeting in this outfit. I love the fit of that jacket, Trini. This is unusual, Jemima, because I don't have jackets this long. I'm loving the length. I wouldn't want this to end here because I just feel it would end at my hip and I'd rather have my waist in play. And it's got a very nice detail at the back. And when I do look for long jackets, I like a break here because it doesn't make my legs look like they're beginning here. And when I do it up, you see it goes in. And you could even actually, the one thing about doing this kind of look 
is I might just take that cover. Imagine I don't have that second gold button, okay? But take that, and it's a trick that instead of when you belt a jacket, belting it so that the middle comes across, keep it open, have the waistband go high, and then you keep the flow of your body. But now you get the length of my leg and that flow, and I haven't cut myself off in half. So if you inherently suit silver jewelry, you probably will suit cool tone makeup and cool tone clothes. And if you suit a gold, um, you'll suit warmer clothes in color. But if you suit both, then you can wear both. And if you want to wear pastels and you suit many gold jewelry, you just have to somewhere find some warmth, so a bit more warmth in the makeup or in the accessories. Let's start with silver. That I love because, you know, sequins, reflective, it's got a little bit of all the shimmers, but I love the combination actually with the satin and those fabrications and the silver together. It makes the outfit look so expensive. It, it is so true, those little details, um, Jemima, do that. The alternative could be white, very easy. This is a Lutz Morris bag, I have them breeding, but white will go with any kind of pastel. You can't go wrong with a white. And then your choice, Jemima, again, the play of neon. And neon also does actually go with lilac, but the play of that brightness against the pastel, like we did with the yellow shirt, it takes that pastel shade into a very interesting state. So cool. Okay, now we've got Serena Butte really old suit, and I love the suit, but I always found the suit quite difficult to wear because it's very powder blue. And it's very difficult, I think, with powder blue to work out what shades go with it. And I didn't want to be too ice coolie. So interestingly, I put Myco Sheer Shimmer on my lip and cheek, but I think when something is a very cool tone, sometimes it's quite nice to get back into neutral. And I've done that with this. You see, now I've got the Myco on, I can bring in a warmer earring. That's you a know? perfect mix. I love the texture of that suit. It's really beautiful. It's silk, but it's silk which has been done on the, so it's actually a satin, but it's been reversed to make the outside, the inside, and vice versa. And I just love the cut, and I wear it I'm with a trainer. Because the suit is quite tailored and, and sort of fitted, I like t-shirt fabric underneath it, and even with a few long necklaces. Makes it more daytimey as well. But it feels fresh. I mean, this to me is the epitome of really nice spring-summer dressing. So last up, let's look at that real baby baby pink and this is the washest out of pinks and this to me is the pastel of pastels serena beaut like the blue suit and it's very difficult for me to wear it unless i wear a white t-shirt so i'm wearing a old zara top with the broader anglaise which i love okay so i just think myself also i might change to go back to dido because i'm thinking Maiko and dido together in this instance and i've got an old earring from um india and i love the broader anglaise with the shape of the earring and I love to match earrings sometimes to shape of your face and if you have a long neck to be able to fill in here but also what pattern might be going on even if it's white on white that you can echo in the earring mm -hmm. so I would do that for a kind of nice smart casual evening out but then I want to finish off with a color which is a soupçon of dove gray and I think dove gray is very underrated it's got to be this is a really old Celine coat, so it's got a little bit dirty in, you know, just wear, but the fundamental of the colour, and if you look at those colours together, it's like when you find a grey marl, you know, that's really got the dappling of white in it. And if you look up close, Jemima, it's just, it's soft. There's softness about it, which is what you want. So that's it this week um, for Classic Confessions. And we've got to think, Jemima, what we've got a long list, haven't we? Well, I loved seeing what you put together with the pastels, but I'm thinking we could go bolder. We yes. could do new color combinations. Always up for that, definitely. We could do jumpsuits. Yes, we could do bags. I know I did a bag collection previously, but I might do a bag collection like the history of my bags with, um, like I did the shoe collection. I mean, it's, there's fewer bags, but they still have an interesting history. And I treasure Zara ones as much as I might treasure a Prada one. So that's one to think about. So you think about it, bags, jumpsuits, Colours. Um, colours. Um, and then we got a few, few good surprises as well that we're filming um, about little confessions that we're not telling you about. So, oh, the sun is coming out because it's so excited. Have a great weekend, ladies. And thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Trini. Bye. Bye.